one. So today we are looking at lead code number 232. It's called implement a queue using stacks. Okay, so here we have, uh, we want to implement first in first out queue using only two stacks. The implemented queue should support all the functions of a normal queue. So we have push, peak, pop, and empty. And so here we can see that the push uh, method is going to take in an integer and it's not going to return anything. It's going to return void. Uh, the pop method will return an integer. Peak will return an integer and Boolean will uh, return an empty. And some notes here is uh, we must only use standard operations of a stack, which means only push to top, peak, pop from top, size, and is empty operations are valid. Okay, and depending on your language, the stack may not be supported na na uh, natively, so you may stimulate a stack uh, using a list or, or deck, double-ended queue, as long as you use only a stack standard operations. Okay, and then we have a follow-up here. Can we implement this queue in such that each operation is in constant time complexity? In other words, performing, performing n operations will take overall O of n time, even if one of those operations may take longer. Okay, so let's think about this, okay? So we're gonna have a stack, so let's go ahead and figure this out. We're gonna have two stacks Okay, and we want to have a queue that's going to work with two stacks. And so how would we go about that? Let's say we have a stack one. I'll call this stack one, and we'll call this stack two. Actually, a better way of naming this is we can call uh, it a push stack and a pop stack. Okay, so we'll call this a push stack. And we'll call this a pop stack. Okay, and this will make sense in a little bit. So let's say <clears throat> we have numbers one, two, three, and four, and we're gonna push this into our push stack. We're gonna initially put these elements into our push stack. So let's say we push in one, we push in two, three, and four. Okay, now we want to dequeue. Okay, and so with queues, it's first in, first out. The first element that was in was this one. Now we need to have this element um, be the first one out, but we can't because we have this four here. If we try to remove it from the front, we're gonna have a linear operation because we're gonna have to re-index everything. So that's not gonna work. So what we can do is when we try to pop, we will have one linear operation and we can check, is this pop stack empty? Okay, is this pop stack empty? If this is empty, then what we wanna do is we wanna take everything out of the push stack and put it into the pop stack. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take out this four, put it here, push out or pop off this three, put it here, pop off this two, and put, pop off this one. And now you can see in the pop stack, we do have the correct order to DQ uh, the correct element, which is this one. Okay, and so now let's say we add more numbers. We add five, six, seven, and eight. This is gonna come in the stack. I'll just write it over here on the side so it's a little bit clearer, but we'll have five, six, seven, and eight. That's okay, it's gonna, th when we go to pop, these are gonna be constant time. We'll pop off this one, pop off this two, pop off this three, we can add a nine here, we can add a 10 here, pop off this four. When this pop stack becomes empty and we wanna, uh, 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 call a pop a, a DQ operation, all we do is take whatever's in our push stack and pour it into our pop stack, okay? So we'll go ahead and take this 10 and put it in here, take this nine, put it in here, and so on and so forth. So I'll just put it over here. I'll create a new stack here just to make it clear. But we'll go ahead and put this 10 here. We'll put this nine here, this eight, seven, six, and five. And you can see then when we pop off this five, it's gonna be in the correct order after this four. Okay, so that's the basic idea. What is our time and uh, space complexity? Well, we do have a linear time operation because you know we could just push onto the stack indefinitely. And then when we go and do a pop, we're gonna have to have a linear time operation. 
but we'll only do that once. We'll only do that once when that pop stack is empty. After that, uh, the DQs and the pushes will all be constant time, okay? So let's go ahead and code this up. Okay, so we have this uh, different syntax. We'll use the JavaScript uh, class syntax here. I think it's just much cleaner. So we'll do a class my Q. Okay, and we are going to have a constructor And here we're going to have a push stack, set it to an empty array, and then we'll have a pop stack. And we'll set that to an empty array. Okay, and so now we're gonna have the methods push, pop, peak, and empty. So let's just go ahead and punch these out, that way they're there. So we'll say push val. Okay, we're gonna have a pop method here. We're going to have a peak method, and then we're going to have an empty method. Okay, and so now what do we want to do? What we want to do is we want to, for a push, we don't need to do anything. All we need to do is push that, val uh, that value onto our push stack. Okay, so this will be constant time. We can just say this dot push stack dot push val and it's void so we don't even need to return anything now if we want to pop something off what do we need to do well first we want to check is this pop stack empty okay if it's empty we have to get everything in the push stack poured into the pop stack okay so we can check that we can say if this dot pop stack dot length okay if this is equal to zero this will coerce to falsy then what do we want to do? We want to say while this dot push stack dot length, while we have a length there, what we're going to do is we're going to pop off the push stack and pour that into the pop stack. Okay, so this dot pop stack dot push, and here we're going to pop off off the push stack. This dot push stack dot pop. I know this seems a little confusing, but it's really not. It's re it, all we're doing here is we're checking, is this pop stack empty? If it is, then let's go ahead and remove each one of these elements from this push stack and put it into the pop stack, push it into the pop stack. And because we're checking the length as our while loop condition, while there's a length, when that length reaches zero, meaning that that push stack is empty, it's going to break out of that while loop. Okay, and then so now once we've done that, we, we know that the elements in our pop stack are in the correct order, so we can just return this.popStack.pop. Okay, so all we're doing here is just go ahead and returning that. We're just popping off our pop stack, the last element in our pop stack. Okay, peak is going to be very similar. We're going to have to check is that is that pop stack or is that uh, pop stack empty? So if this dot pop stack dot length, if it's empty, then we want to do the same thing. We want to say while this dot push stack dot length, go ahead and remove everything from the push stack and pour it into the pop stack. So this dot pop stack dot push, this dot push stack dot pop. Okay, and now we're not popping off the pop stack, we're just returning the last element. So we just go ahead and return this dot pop stack, this dot pop stack dot length minus one. Just the last element in that pop stack. Okay, and then to check if it's empty, all we have to do is just make sure that both of these stacks are empty. Okay, so we can just do a return. Um, if this dot push stack dot length is null and this dot pop stack dot length is, is zero, not null but zero. 
okay? And let's go ahead and run that. Okay, and we are good to go. Okay, so let's take a look at time and space complexity here. Uh, time complexity is worst case we are going to have linear, but we're only doing that once. We're not doing that on every single operation. So our average time complexity is actually constant for uh, our DQ method or our POP method, okay? So we, can, we do achieve constant time on average. And then space is linear, okay? Because as we add more inputs, we're gonna have to create more space, okay? And so that is our space and time, and that is leak code number 232, implement a queue using stacks. This is a great problem. I really enjoy this problem. Um, I think there's there's it's a nice clever way to look at creating a stack out or creating a queue out of a stack, and um, and you get great um, great performance uh, uh, using this this method on it as well. Uh, okay, so that's LeetCode two three two. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one.